Hello everyone, this is a vlog nito. Ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang generator overhauling. So we will be discussing the overhauling of generator uh, cylinder head for the reason that uh, we have some problem. Uh, our exhaust temperature is high on this unit uh, number 3. And thank you for watching my vlog. May I ask your favor to subscribe to my channel and also to follow on my Facebook page and hit the notification button so that in my next vlog you will be updated or you will be notified on my next vlog in this vlog I will show you the overhauling of generator cylinder head okay. so bakit tali na overhaul ng cylinder head so for the reason it is overdue as per running hours in interval or there is some problem with the generator so let's say uh, as what we are facing now the exhaust temperature is high if mostly if this temperature is high the problem is uh, the exhaust bulb leaking so there is a leaking on the exhaust bulb that is mostly the case so let's go and see so now we are removing this cylinder head. This is the hydraulic, uh, the way of uh, dismantling the generator cylinder head. So using this 1,200 bar hydraulic pressure. So this is the hydraulic jack. And they are now tightening, uh, loosening, I mean. Okay. So slowly release the hydraulic pressure so once you already loosen the hydraulic jack you have to slowly loosen the pressure uh, and then reduce the pressure and now check if the, all the nuts are loose and that's the time you have to remove the hydraulic nut and this nut okay so yan po ang uh, pagtanggal ng cylinder head. So bakit ba tinanggal ang cylinder head? What is the reason? So there was a problem with the exhaust temperature high. So this is the rocker arm. Ayan. And then we fixed the cylinder head special tools for lifting the cylinder head. And, and then of course we need to remove the connection from uh, this uh, exhaust manifold and also this uh, cooling water system so but before doing this before we start we have to close or isolate the fuel air and water the cylinder head is now taken out from this generator and we have to check and investigate what really happened why we have this exhaust high temperature so here you go the exhaust bulb was leaking there was a big hole on the bulb side so it's very clear so this is the cylinder liner start cleaning the cylinder liner and also on the top part of it where the cylinder is seated using this wire brush and also clean the intake port and including this exhaust port once the cleaning is completed measure the cylinder liner in this way we will be able to know the diameter of the liner if it's still okay to use or if it is already beyond the limit We are now started to box up the cylinder head but first you have to review and check the surface if it is totally clean and we need to start putting this cylinder head metal gasket also this uh, o-ring that need to renew and of course we have to recheck this cylinder head that we have to box up and put this all connection the fittings this cooling water pipings 
and review and check the holes for this cylinder head that we are planning to max up. Make sure that the o-ring is properly fitted to the cylinder head. We are now started to assemble this newly overhauled cylinder head. And then this is the very important part that before fixing you must put this o-ring, especially this uh, cooling water, the cylinder head uh, o-ring is complete. Otherwise water will be leaked. So ayan, dahan-dahan lang ang paglagay para maayos at uh, hindi mag-leak ang cylinder head. So this is how we have to assemble with the new overhauled cylinder head. Ayan. Then we need to put the nut, cylinder head nut. Cadet natin. So this is the important job of the engineers that to make sure the cylinder head is properly installed or fitted. And so we need now to put the hydraulic nut. How we assemble, dismantle the cylinder head is the same when we reassemble, but in opposite way. And the same thing, the hydraulic pressure is uh, 1,200 bar. And that is the tightening. It needs to bleed off this uh, hydraulic jack to release the air and to avoid the problem during tightening of this cylinder head. One main problem of tightening the cylinder head is you are not properly doing the correct procedure. We must read and review the procedure on tightening and loosening this cylinder head according to instruction manual. And here, once completely tightened, and we have to fix now all the fittings, like the cooling water, and this exhaust uh, pipings. So this is here. The difficult part is to connect the jacket cooling water connection when fixing this cooling water connection we must be very careful with the o-ring to avoid the, the damage otherwise there will be a leaking so here we started opening the water cooling water to bleed up to make sure and check if there is no leaking on the cylinder head so once it is already fitted and the water is open, we have to put some fittings like this uh, indicator bulb and also this uh, connection to the fuel bulb. So here is the fuel bulb that we are fitting. And of course, we need to tight according to tightening torques. Next is the rack arm. Be very careful and make sure that this is assembled in the correct position. The bolts are equally tightened. So here we are continue fixing the bolts for the cylinder head and the connection for the lubrication of the rack arm and some fittings which required and make sure you tighten it 
according to the normal regain torques and this uh, fuel valve high pressure pipe so make sure that you have renewed the o-rings to avoid the leaking sa lahat ng trabaho dito sa makina mapapatali at mapapagaan kung ang bawat isa ay magtutulungan so tulad nitong ipinapakita namin na meron kaming good teamwork we are almost completed with this overhauling of cylinder head check and adjust the topic clearance which is very important for the valve clearance we have to follow as per uh, manual the clearance of this inlet and exhaust valve the valve for the PV line must be open and of course we need to lubricate the cylinder head once it is completely installed all the fittings and then the engineer will start to test the engine first we have to blow through to make sure that there is no water inside or oil so we are now blowing through the engine here we go the engine is running and you can see the rocking arm and the lubrication so this is it this is how the cylinder head or this rocker arm moving um, here we can see if the cylinder head is well lubricated as you can see sa yung langis na yan ikita natin so this is how the engine works when you open this uh, back cover of the cylinder head okay the most important part of the engine when it started or when it is running is the lug oil pressure so you must check the lug oil pressure and the engine must be lubricated so here we need to or we have to restart again the engine once the engine is running you must check the lug oil pressure jacket water pressure and other parameter by opening this indicator valve, we will make out the performance of your engine. And also, if there is some oil or water leaking. By opening this indicator valve, you will make out the firing of its cylinder. So, thank you for watching my vlog. And I hope you subscribe and share this video especially to those uh, seafarer and also to my uh, facebook page chipri molio okay so thank you for watching